sunshine is kissing my face. You know what they say. You need Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to make a card showcasing one of the new stamp sets from Stampin' Up! that's available for order ahead of the holiday catalog. And I just wanted to show you this stamp set and the matching dies, which is the Carols of Christmas. And as you can see, it's a nice little stamp set that will help you get started on your Christmas cards. So let's open up the stamp set and see what's inside. As you can see, it's a clear mount stamp set, which means that you that it has the rubber uh, foam backing on the back and it clings to any of your stamps uh, block in order to allow you to stamp. It comes with um, several really nice little stamps. We have a large, two very large um, stamp sets, stamps, uh, Peace on Earth and Deck the Halls, and then a lot of little accent stamps. Uh, there's a poinsettia, stars, little decal, some leaves. These could be little berries. There's two different types of tri uh, trimming things. One's straight and one's curved. We have our little poinsettia and berries and another set of decals and this little deer. And the nice thing about this stamp set is it comes with a thinlet set that allows you to cut. So here we have something that can be used year round, which is stars and the moon. We have two two different tree thinlets that can cut out trees and corner details. There's two different corners so you can frame your cards. And these are the ornaments which can be used to individually cut out the ornaments and the deer. There's poinsettias and the leaves. And then there's this detail here. Now I wanted to show you a little bit about what um, these do so I did up a card with first all of the stamps and how they stamp out. So here's your large uh, words and then there's your I did them upside down but these are the uh, ornaments to cut out and you can see that they all stamp very nice and crisp and look very nice. So then I stamped them in uh, colored inks and embossing just to see what those would look up like. And they look very nice. This is the gold embossing and this is the uh, real red and garden green so that you could make a pattern on your papers. And then these stamp out very nicely as well. And I have a lot of trees that I that I cut out just to see how nicely they would cut out and they actually cut out very very nicely so I've got green ones and you could layer your lighter trees behind your darker trees give it some depth of field if you wanted to go even a step further you could put your black behind and and make a forest scene I also stamped out in various colors and cut out with various shapes uh, the deck the hall. This one's in the gold embossing powder which looks really nice and I cut it out with one of the layering ovals. We don't have layering rectangles but I manipulated the, the rectangle square so that I was able to get a border around this one here. Here's how it looks in Old Olive. So there's, it print does really, really nice. Sorry for shaking the camera. This one is in uh, 
silver foil or silver embossing powder. And then I started playing around, seeing combinations, and I put the ornaments behind the gold, but didn't show up too nicely. And then I just started putting different uh, ones of the stamps around just to see what I could do. I had fun with that. And this is the frame, the frame pieces. These frame pieces cut out channels. They don't actually cut out the, the whole shape. But what I did was I put two together and then I used the um, squares and just move them along with uh, selective uh, die cutting and cut a border out that could be used on uh, a card. And then I went a step further and I took some black cardstock and played with it a little bit. So this is the the stars and the moon and I cut out two trees and the deer and then I used those corner ones and cut out these ones here just to see what everything would look on like um, against a darker background. So these are the little ornaments which I embossed in gold and then inset. So you could use on this one you could use a navy blue background or you could use a white one and a white background the whisper white and you could use inks and put yourself in a starry sky and put some gold foil behind these ones here i cut it out three times once in real red once in garden green and then inset the um, poinsettias and the little berries which i realized later i could have just used my real red marker and put the berries in but I was having fun playing and then I stamped the poinsettia stamp which fits on top of this into those spots to give a little more detail and I actually really like this on the the dark color these ones here and you can see how when you cut out this frame and put the cardstock backed by another color how nicely that looks So that gives you a little bit of an idea about the versatility of this stamp set. It really is quite the great little stamp set. And we're going to be making a variation of this card today. I've changed it up slightly, but the basic, uh, the basic idea is it's still the same card. So we're going to start with a few things that we'll need to make this card. So the first thing we need is a piece of Whisper White. Uh, which is a single sheet cut at five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Then we're going to need a piece of real red that's cut at five and a quarter by four, a piece of whisper white. Cut at four and three quarters by three and three quarters, and two three eighth inch strips of gold foil. And then for our greeting, we need a piece of real red that's three by two and a quarter, and a piece of whisper white which is two and three quarters by two and a quarter. I've cut out a single tree from Garden Green. I stamped one of the holly in Garden Green and used my marker to do the uh, berries in real red before I stamped. And I gold embossed and cut out with the dies a little gold deer. So the first thing we need to do is to stamp our sentiment. I've mounted it up on um, block D and I'm going to use real red ink. 
I'm also going to use my stamp positioner and I've already stamped with memento black ink uh, into the corner so that I can get my piece on earth where I want it on my um, my piece because it wouldn't be wouldn't be good to not have this centered properly and I've chosen to use peace on earth on this one uh, just to change up the card a little bit so I don't have a lot of cards that are exactly the same and it gives you an idea of what something else would look like so stamp up Got my stamp positioner here. And then I just put the stamp into the corner of the stamp positioner, push down, and hopefully, once the ink has transferred, we should have a really nicely centered. And that looks really nice. To clean off my stamp using the stamp and scrub. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Close up my ink. And it's time to start assembling this little card that we have here. So you may have noticed when I showed you this that I had this little border. And that was made using this tiny little stamp here and carefully going along and stamping it so it's not perfect but it's a handmade card and making a small border across the top and bottom sorry for shaking the camera there the top and bottom of this piece so we're going to attach this one this piece to our piece of real red using our snail adhesive you just want to try and get a nice border all the way around I know why that doesn't fit. We need to put our gold pieces on the sides. So now we're going to put our vo focal point together. I have little deer which I'm going to attach to the corner of the tree and attach this to the corner here trying not to obscure the sentiment too much And we're going to attach the poinsettia into this upper right corner. And we're going to attach this to this piece with dimensionals. This is, will be ready once we get the backings off the dimensionals to attach to our card and then attach to the card front. Center it up nicely and there's our focal piece ready to go. 
Now we can take our card base, which we've already scored at four and a quarter. Using our bone folder. Reinforce that edge. And then using a bit of snail, attach the front, trying to get all sides even. And there's our card. As you can see, slightly different than the one we made, but the basic layout and ideas are the same. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you do, um, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you everyone for joining me.